Hello guys, we are going to see if the Blue Eddy will run a washing machine. Let's get to it right now. So we're going to be starting out here to run this washing machine at 98% and we'll see what the Blue Eddy does, if it will even try to run it. So I just switched the transfer switch over and we're pulling 47 amps, which is just the basics for that room. So let's go in that room now and check it out. So I will be disconnecting this stand-up freezer here for this test. I don't want any extra amperage running there. And I'm going to be disconnecting this unit here from charging. We're going to try running this LG washing machine with the Blue Eddy. I've already got the clothes inside. Let's see, we turn it on. And it is on. So let's get some soap in here. We're going to try the speed wash. All right, let's see if it'll start up on the blue eddy. Washing machine is spinning. It's adding water. Blue Eddie's at 97% and we're pulling 1100 watts. There it goes. Cranking it up now. Now's when it's got to be using the most. Let's go back and check it. Well, showing 200 watts. So we're running 563, 503, 563. The motor's spinning. We're at 95%. We've only used 2% of the battery. And we're running about five, let's say 500 watts to round it off. Two minutes left. And it is singing. Putting the spin on there, very nice. 94% left on the Blue Eddy, pulling 460 to 500 watts. Now I know that was a 15 minute quick cycle, but you get the idea. You get the idea the Blue Eddy can do it. I just heard it go down, washing machine slowed down, and let's go verify. It just stopped. One minute left. Now I will plug the freezer back in just so I don't forget. And you can hear the freezer is running. Let's go see what the freezer is pulling on the Blue Eddy. So the freezer is pulling 132 watts. And we did it. We washed the clothes with the Blue Eddy and we're still at 94%. Well guys, there you have it. The Blue Eddy was able to run the washing machine through a 15 minute quick cycle, spin it up to full speed, all that while it only pulled a maximum of about 550 watts and it only used about 3% of the Blue Eddy. So you can do your day-to-day -day dually duties with the Blue Eddy and if you get solar coming in to charge it as you're using it, it's all the better. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Please hit like and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.